Here you can see I fitted a pulley wheel at the top of the uh, frame instead of having the actual uh, roll of filament there. And the reason I did that was because when I observed the printer, it was on the retractions, it was pulling the roll, or rather the roll was pulling it. So the printer was vibrating quite a bit. And so now I've actually fitted a uh, pulley to the top rail and I've actually fitted the um, a roll of filament behind the printer on a filament uh, roll holder there and um, you can see that all of the parts have been printed on the printer in that PLA so that is PLA you can see there in that uh, pulley holder and also some bracket the brackets at the side you can see at the top to actually fix the um, pole in position so it can't move um, from that uh, location so that little pulley won't move round, fall down, fall forwards or backwards and uh, it's again clamped onto the tube with the same clamps that I made in my first video and adapted to take the pulley holder and also adapted to take some plates to uh, fix the um, uh, bar to. I do think that having the filament roll very very close to the top of the printer is not a good idea because it does cause problems in the printer but this one particularly because it's very flexible probably in most top feeding 3d printers that are actually based on aluminium extrusion and it wouldn't be a problem but for this printer because it is actually got a very flexible frame having the roller filament so close to the printer like that is a problem it is very um uh, affected by the um uh, the, the spool um, going backwards and forwards in the retraction by, by being pulled upwards and uh, it was um, although the printer did make it still make a good job of the print I really think it's better like this not to have any of that kind of um, vibration going on now when I print it with this printer it uh, with the new um, configuration for the filament there's almost no vibration at all so it has actually reduced that dramatically and I think it's another step forward. Here's a video of it running with the new system and you can see how much less vibration there is in the x-axis when the attractions happen, almost none. So I'm hoping this will iron out like a few of the quality problems I was having before which was due to having that big roll of filament right above the printer and then when the printer uh, went to um, retract and so on, the spill was going around uh, 500 grams or maybe 750 grams of filament going around at the top causing vibration. I didn't even realise it was happening but I did spot it when I, when I spent some time watching the print and you can see how much more smooth the print is. As the attraction goes up, all of the retractions in the filament, it, it retracts back and it's basically pushing the filament up and there's nothing up there to um, cause any vibrations anymore. And it is normal to have the filament mounted above. On many printers um, they have the filament mounted on the actual frame. But of course with most printers the framework is quite a bit stiffer than this one is and obviously this one will go. And that's something I hadn't even thought of. But it has improved it. And this is just the first really my first attempt to sort it out and it is working it's just that it means that the straw has to be in line with the actual um, uh, pulley at the top otherwise it doesn't work it gets stuck so it definitely has to be in line with it so with, however you have it you have to make sure it's in line with that pulley unless you want to redesign a different pulley maybe that's got a bit more freedom of movement on it so that the filament can go back and forth a bit more in this one, I had a 5mm width pulley, which just goes down into a kind of a V-shape, which obviously makes it quite small. I did try and make it a bit more rounded, but 5mm um, may be enough, not, not be enough, maybe it might be a good idea to try 10mm or something like that. But for this purpose, it's working effectively. You'll have to see what improvement it makes in the actual um, model itself. Certainly, the print is moving around far less. It was really vibrating a lot when it was doing its retraction but now there's almost no vibration at all. I'm sure it's bound to improve um, print quality. Not having the reel so close to the printer means that when the retraction happens it's kind of retracting the filament up and it's only got the filament 
above it between the uh, pulley and the top of the extruder to um, actually displace so there's almost no vibration from that at all so I do think that's an advance and I do think if you have one of these printers or you have another of the small lighter duty printers that um, uh, got this configuration where the filament comes into the top of the extruder it would be a good idea to um, give a distance between the top of the um, extruder mechanism and the actual spool of filament. There are many of these um, easy 3D printers that have actually got this arrangement where the, f the filament enters from the top immediately and I would suggest that in that case um, it would be better to um, uh, mount the filament um, roll away from the top of the printer so that it does give it a bit more uh, leeway when it comes to the retractions to stop this happening. This is just a quick segment um, basically to show what I've done with the new pulley system which I've got set up. Thanks for watching and um, see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>